Uh-oh, what's going on here? I bet you're wondering. The blowout cap out, back end opened up, back at the yard. Well, let me tell you, got a uh, sponge stuck. I believe in the turret, sounds like a segregation plug. Tried pushing it back with air, uh, no bueno. So what we're gonna do here is we got the hopper all washed out. Take a square sponge, insert it into this six inch elbow, button everything back up on the back end, fill the hopper with water, and then we're gonna unfold here. We'll swing the tip elbow over one of these washout pans, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll use the pump pushing water to push everything out right through the end of the boom into the pans. So we're gonna have a little fun here. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the hopper full of water, right full of the top. Nice little A-frame action going here. I wouldn't want to try and do this in a Z. Just want to get a nice linear path for that sponge to go, or as linear as possible. Uh, what's probably going to happen, I'm going to take a couple strokes here. Once that hopper's run all the way down, um, and it's sucking air, I'm probably gonna have to fill it with water again because I'm not gonna be able to push this out by sucking air pressure. It's gonna have to be hydraulic all the way. So I'll wind this up right now. We'll take a couple strokes. I'm gonna close this lid because once I start pulling air, this is gonna, uh, it's gonna have a, a pretty good pop to it. All right. Full RPM, full volume. We're gonna hammer on this. It's gonna be pushing hard. You might see black smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. We shall see. Here goes. Oh, I heard movement. There it is, it's right there. We got her. We got her. As I suspected, a nice little rock pot. So, this here is the sponge that was jammed in there that was stuck. Kind of a crusty old piece of crap. We'll, we'll put this in the discard pile. The one square sponge, the clean one, that's the first one I tried to blow back through the boom with air, and it wouldn't even build air pressure. The problem with those square sponges, unless you have a high volume of air, the air will actually pass through them and it doesn't seal well enough to build pressure. So then when I got back to the yard, I put in a nice new rubberized orange foam ball, put that in the tip elbow, put the air to it again, give it another shot. And yes, it did build air pressure, but there was no movement. I only ran the air up to about uh, 40 PSI with this thing. Um, if it's not going to move with 40 pounds of air, I don't want to go 80 or 100 because God forbid if I did break it free, uh, it could be quite, uh, well, we might be paying for some new windows, let's just say that. So the last sponge here is a sponge which I put in the back end there and pushed through with water all the way through the boom. So we pushed her out nice and clear. So uh, yeah, there really was hardly any concrete in there, just a little bit of a rock pack and uh, one gibbled sponge. But this method here, in my opinion, is the safest, most effective way to push out a stuck sponge. Even if you're having a, uh, God forbid you're having a boom party, uh, you can push out some pretty set concrete out of the boom pipe doing things this way. Even if it means taking things apart at the turret elbow, pushing that out first, putting it back together, then pushing out your preceding sections. But uh, yeah, it is uh, highly effective. You gotta think air pressure, is only 100 psi pump pressure is over 1200 psi so there's a lot more force with this than there is with that this does not compress that does the danger of this is the compression you fill half a boom to 100 psi with air and uh if it ever breaks free you've essentially got a bomb on your hands so this is the way to do it this is the way we do it this is the way i like to do it maybe this will help somebody out Maybe this will uh, save somebody from having to take pipes off the boom and work late on a Friday, God forbid. Anyhow, that is it, over and out. All right, so here we are, back in the shop. Gonna do a little bit of investigating here. 
So we had that sponge stuck in the turret there a couple days ago. Um, and just the shape at which the sponge was when it came out, it was kind of pancaked out like it had been wedged in the pipe between some old hardened concrete. So between that and the fact that, to my knowledge, this is a single wall deck pipe, it's supposed to be empty. Doesn't sound very empty. Even if this were twin wall pipe, which maybe it possibly is, it shouldn't have that dull thud sound to it. So I'm very suspicious that there is some significant buildup throughout the length of this deck pipe and probably into the turret, hence why the sponge got stuck. So what I'm gonna do, pop this elbow here, shine a light down the pipe, see how it looks. See if we got any little, uh, any little treats inside of there. I am betting that there probably is a not so nice little surprise inside of here. So uh, I'll pull this apart and I'll cut to, uh, cut to the next clip of us uh, checking out inside the pipe to see what's in there. Here we go, moment of truth. What do you think? Uh, I think there's concrete in there for sure. Think so? I think there's 97.3% chance there's concrete in there. Yeah. Let's see guys. Oh, he's got the big bar. Straight to the heavy tools. Oh boy. Oh fuck. So. Get the light. Or I leave it on the bench, sir. Oh. Okay. My suspicions have been confirmed. Oh my God, that's terrible. Holy shit. Yeah. And that, friends, is why the sponge would not come back. Lovely. Okay, I guess this is coming apart. Yeah. If there was ever any doubt as to why that sponge wouldn't come back. Oh, here it is. Nasty, nasty, nasty. The elbow is almost, it's almost half full of concrete. Lovely stuff. All you naughty boys that like to sock back just one sponge. That's kind of what we can get. Better look from the other side here. Yeah, that ain't no fun. So, got three sponges here. We got the hard ball, the soft ball, the square. The squares, soft square, the soft round, they will actually suck back over top or build up like that. The hard ball will not. It's too firm. And that is how I discovered that there was schmeg in this pipe. So I tried to suck back the hard ball on the last pour and it would not come back. I'm assuming that uh, those previous to me were probably just using the soft sponges and just pulling it right over top of that layer of concrete. And it looks like there was about, uh, if I get a little sample here, about four different layers of concrete in here. Let's just, let's pull this out and have a look. Anyhow. Can't get out of there with one hand, but you get the idea. That's what we had in the pipe. So that's uh, that's not from one pour, that's from several pours over time. So, lesson to be learned when you're doing a lot of slow pours, like we do with that little 24 meter pump. Use a hard ball, use a go devil, whatever. But doing just one or two soft sponges isn't always the hot ticket. Neither is water washing or sucking a bucket. I do use all of these methods from time to time, depending on the job. But I guess you just got to use your discretion as to uh, what is most appropriate on any given day. Anyhow, we'll get this all banged out and we'll get this pipe back on. And uh, moving forward, we will make sure that this is cleaned out properly with the appropriate sponge and the appropriate technique. What do you think? Shit show or what? Huh? What do you think? Shit show or what? Whose fault oh, yeah. is it? Oh, yeah. It's everybody's fault. Everybody. Everybody's fault. What's the lesson of the day? Don't do what? Don't suck soft spot sponge balls back. Go so, hard. Go hard or go freaking home. Go hard. David says go hard or go home. There you have it. 
The jury has spoken.